Welcome to the training on how to send a card. So in order to send a card on your main menu you're going to click where it says create a card. As the card catalog loads you'll see all the different categories down the left hand side and there's 12,000 cards in the card catalog or anything that you have a picture of can be on the front of a card as well. We're going to click in the thank you card category and you'll see how there's some subcategories underneath as well. You may also want to change your view to 60 cards per page if you're only seeing 10. Whenever you click on a card, it's going to pop up larger, so you'll be able to see it better. And you can also view whether there's an inside message. If there is, and you click inside, it tells you what's on the inside of that card. And if you ever want to use this front without the inside, you can always erase that inside message. Now, when you click on a card, as I said, it pops up larger. And you'll see that you can send any card as a postcard, a two panel, a three panel, or a big card. So any card can be chosen as any one of those four or anything you have a picture of can be sent as any one of those four as well. You can also save the card to your favorites file just by clicking here. So we're going to go ahead and send a two panel card. Now you'll see it come up to the inside of the card and this card is blank on the inside. You can type on either side of the card. We're going to click over here where you would write and we're just going to type Dear Lisa, it was great to see you the other day. Thank you so much for lunch. Warmest regards. Now you'll see that this font popping up is one of our fonts in the system. You can highlight your text, go down to the font choices, and choose from any one of the fonts listed. The last font will be your own handwriting, and that's a great feature that we have for wholesale counts where it's included to have your handwriting and signatures, or retail people can purchase that separately along with your account. And the graphic designers create a font out of your handwriting. So I'm going to go ahead and put my signature into the card as well. Now you can continue to highlight it again and make it a little bit larger if you'd like. You could center your text like if you were doing an invitation. You can even click where this black A is and that's going to choose a color for your font. Not only do you have these nine colors to choose from, but you actually have a whole color wheel. You can click on that wheel, drag your arrow down to make it deeper. You could even go up to the top of the card with your cursor and go ahead and click on the on the thumbnail of the front of that card and it's going to match it to whatever you have on the front. So it's a great way to match your logo color as well. So there you go. And now you'll also notice a couple other things on this bar where it says insert name. That's a great feature when you're sending a campaign to a whole group of people and it will merge that name into the card. You can type in other languages such as French, uh, German, Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish. And you can also add, as you see over here on the left, pictures, templates, and elements. And these are things that are already created for you. You can simply take a picture, drag it inside a card, and you could resize it, you could tilt it, and you can even add an already pre-designed template which is going to make it very easy to send a nice looking card. You can choose from any one of these templates and whenever you click on one it's going to automatically place your photo in that template. If you ever don't want a certain piece, an element, you can remove it. So very easy and, and you can actually watch the system training video on making custom cards to learn more about these templates and elements. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And you'll see the return address on the top left and then the recipient's address in the center. Now if she wasn't in my contact manager I could go ahead and type it. If she already is I can just hit choose from contact manager and pick her name and hit choose contact and it's just gonna pop her name and address straight in there. Your contact manager is your address book that you can import in and it reminds you of birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. You can also send a card to a whole group of people with one click by using the multiple recipients or by creating something called a campaign and again there's another training on how to do a campaign. So we're gonna click on continue 
And this is our gift catalog. There are hundreds of gifts in the gift catalog and you can send anything from brownies and cookies, you can send books, office, occasions, birthday, you have things for baby, for pets, uh, all the way down to jewelry and inspirational. So there's something for everyone. My favorite part is that that gift arrives on their doorstep with your card inside the gift. So they do arrive together. And it's as simple as just choosing the gift you want hitting send with card and it's going to put that gift alongside your card. I also wanted to show you the gift cards because this is a hugely popular feature to be able to choose any one of these gift cards from popular stores, Starbucks, American Express, Barnes & Noble, Home Depot, Macy's and when you choose the amount it's going to put that actual gift card inside your greeting card. And for right now we're going to click on continue without gift and this is our confirmation screen. You'll see on the right hand side it tells you how much it's going to cost. Some of you have the retail account and some have the wholesale account and that's just the difference in what you pay for your points. Even at retail a wholesale card, a two point uh, wholesale card would be 62 cents. Um, even at, um, I mean even at um, retail it would be 98 cents and at wholesale it would be 62 cents. So just an incredible value for a two-point card. When you add pictures you can add as many as you want and it only raises it by one point. So this card could have 20 pictures in it. It would still be a three-point card. The price of our stamp is 44 cents, exactly what you would pay at the post office, and it is a real stamp on that envelope. We're the number one user of U.S. postage in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send card, and now it says your card is on its way. This card is going to get printed stuff stamped and mailed at midnight mountain time, and you have until then to go back in and edit it or view it. So that's how to send a greeting card and a gift as easily as sending an email at your fingertips.